Vivek Ramaswamy competing with Joe Biden pretty strongly. Real clear polling average has him at 7.2 percent up against uh, Donald Trump's 56.6 percent. And joining us now from uh, Columbus, Ohio, is the aforementioned Vivek Ramaswamy. First of all, am I saying Vivek? Is that is that how you say it? It's pretty close. It's Vivek like cake. Vivek. OK. Yeah, you got so it. So I asked my staff 85 times to give me a pronouncer and I got 85 different pronouncers. But I'll try well, to remember that. The fact that. is, that's what most of the media gets about 100 different pronouncers. So your staff has narrowed it down pretty well. But it's so Vivek. You, you're a Harvard guy. Uh, were you in the business school up there? I was an undergrad there. And then I went to law school after that at Yale. At Yale. OK, so I'm going to hold both of those things against you, if you don't mind. Um, that's fair. <laughs> actually going to be at Harvard uh, this weekend. I have some business up there with them. All right, I got to ask you some uh, questions about uh, the world in which we live. And you know me, you know, straight talk. We don't want any political nonsense here. We just want Amen. your uh, opinion and why you believe what you believe. So, Putin, um, yep. if you're elected president, you're going to have to deal with him. What kind of guy, how would you describe Putin to somebody who doesn't know him? ruthless and acts in his own self-interest. And so, Bill, my point is that Putin doesn't trust us now and we don't trust him, but we can trust him to follow his self-interest and he can trust us to follow ours. So I'm going to end the war in Ukraine and I'll do it with a simple deal that allows Ukraine to come out with its sovereignty intact, freeze the current lines of control, make a hard commitment that NATO won't admit Ukraine to NATO, which is something Putin's been asking for for a long time. But in return, I'm going to require that he exit his military alliance with Xi Jinping, which is the single greatest threat that we face today is the Russia-China military alliance. OK, and so I, I don't view, well, let I me stop him. you. Let me stop yeah. you. I don't believe he will do that. All I right. I don't will, believe actually. he. OK, so you are basing your hope. On what specifically? I don't believe that Putin's yeah. going to blow his alliance with Xi up. You believe the opposite. That's convince right. me, but convince me with some facts. Okay, facts are good. And the way I, the, first I'll give you an analogy to think about it, and then I'll give you the facts of the present. The analogy was everyone said the same thing about Richard Nixon and Mao Zedong in 1972. Did Nixon trust Mao? Did the United States trust Mao? No, we did not. Was Mao a good person? No, he's not. But that was irrelevant because the point was, how do we pull him out of the USSR? And the reason why is Mao had an ego. He didn't like being Xi Jinping. He didn't like being uh, Brezhnev's little brother back in the USSR era. And so Nixon did a deal with Mao that pulled them out of Russia's or that back then the USSR stranglehold. I see Putin as the new Mao. So on the face, it's a honky dory relationship, right? They have the strategic no limits partnership. But look closely. Now you got some facts you asked for, Bill. Well, one of them is every time Putin now meets with Xi Jinping, like at the 2022 summit, he sends weapons to Vietnam and to India. Those are two countries that border China. That irritates Xi Jinping a lot. But Putin does not like being Xi Jinping's little brother in that relationship. But you have gonna, you're going to have to do something other. Look, Nixon. I'm going to give you one more fact. I'm going to give you one more fact. Well, well, all right. But let, let, me set, yeah. let me set it up. Nixon got through to Mao for economic reasons. China yes. was starving. OK. Yes. And that's and how they starving, got that too. deal done. Right now, you're not giving me any all right, reason how Putin will benefit from your deal. So Putin's sure, so going he's going to look weak. All right, pulling we his troops out. We will reopen economic relations with Russia. Is, eh, he is a key care. part of this. He's selling oil oh. all over the place. He doesn't need well, the it. Well, the, the fact of the matter is, he's not. I mean, that Russia's e economy has gone down since you took it out has. the Nord Stream one and two. And if you open economic relations with the U.S., that's more promising for him than being stuck in bed with Xi Jinping. Look, he and didn't it's not have just the to. US. He knew before it's he the invaded. It's the West as we know it. He knew before he invaded Ukraine that was going to happen. He doesn't care. Well, here's what. But here's what he asked for before he invaded Ukraine, though, Bill. He said he wanted a hard commitment that NATO will not admit Ukraine to NATO. That's a big deal to Russia, NATO admitting Ukraine. But we're going to sell because out Ukraine. I don't particularly think we're not going to sell point. out Ukraine. Well, we're you're not going to sell out Ukraine. Sure, you are. You, you're selling Ukraine them out because. Ukraine comes out with its. I'll respectfully disagree with you here, Bill. Ukraine on my deal will come out with its sovereignty intact. 
I don't think Ukraine no, is going to be on a trajectory. It to loses twenty percent of its territory. It the Russian-speaking territories that have gone ping pong for over the course of centuries. It's, it's within yes, the Ukrainian the border. Ukraine loses 20% of their territory. Ukraine ends up being a sovereign nation at the end of it. But our job isn't to look after Ukraine. Our job is to look after the United I, States. I got that. And, and so Ukraine's I think it's not going to deal for Ukraine. Zelensky is never going to sign off on this. Zelensky ever. doesn't. I mean, with due respect, Bill, Zelensky's bills are being paid by the United States. Okay, the government employees of the wins. Ukraine government are being paid by our taxpayers. Okay. So I think we got, we we have got a, a bit vision. of a say in what happens there. We have a gentleman's disagreement. I don't think Putin would make the deal. And I know Zelensky Let me just say would. one more fact, though. You asked for a fact, Bill. Let me just leave you yeah, one more. Go ahead. China is trying to build a railroad in northeast China to reach the ocean. And northeast China is impoverished because of it. But it runs through Russia. Putin won't even let Xi Jinping do that right now either. The chairman of the Fed is promising more pain ahead. Last year's stocks dropped a whopping 20%. 2023 could be worse. You are right to be worried. So call the only precious metal dealer I trust, American Hartford Gold. They will show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Since I've been a client and spokesperson, the price of gold has appreciated more than 35%. So please call today and they'll have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. They have thousands of satisfied customers and have the highest rating in the country with an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. Please tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you, and they will give you up to $5,000 of free silver on your first order. Please call 866-501-5201. That's 866-501-5201, or text BILL to 65532. Again, that's 866-501-5201 or text BILL to 65532. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.